Hey everybody, welcome back to A Late Show. Hope you're doing well. Let's talk with a friend of ours who always makes us feel better, Mr. John Baptiste. John, how are you tonight? Oh my goodness, I'm feeling real good. How you doing? I'm doing okay, it's good to see you. Tell me yeah. about that jacket. I know, is that your high school jacket? Oh yeah, yeah, so this is my high school letterman, St. Augustine High School in Noka. I, I, love, I love representing, you know, I, I, I remember those times fondly. Now, you played basketball for St. Augustine, right? That's right. That's right. I played, I played basketball, and we actually won. I always like to say this, and I'm going to keep saying it forever. We won the national championship, AAU champions. John Baptiste, good to see you. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, sir. Much love. Folks, I spent a lot of time in here painstakingly sourcing the most finely engineered news parts to assemble the state-of-the-art Grand Prix winning F1 supercar that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, I like to scavenge the topical junkyard for scrap metal, used airbags, and structurally unsound chassis. Slap them all together with some duct tape, then careen down breakneck hill in the ramshackle soapbox jalopy of news that is my segment. Quarantine Wild. Quarantine Wild. Coronavirus has prompted the Michigan Health Department to launch a free condom delivery service, a critical service during a pandemic quarantine. I've always said, condoms are the face mask of the penis. And COVID is impacting the entire industry because the makers of Durex condoms says that the quarantine was having a toll on the number of intimate occasions. You know what else will have a toll on intimate occasions? Calling them intimate occasions. Hey. What do you say we head back to my place and have an intimate occasion? No? How about a fornication occurrence? No? A body fluid conference? Where are you going? Intimate occasions is not what normal humans call sex. It's the name of a stripper's perfume. Quarantine while. Judy Dench says her cat's costume was like five foxes on my back. And watching cats is like five dogs humping your brain. Although Five Foxes on my back is my favorite Dr. Seuss book. I do not like them on my back. I do not like them near my crack. Quarantine while. In lockdown beauty regimen news, Kesha is treating herself to butt masks during quarantine. As long as they're not N95 butt masks, we need those for the doctor's butts. Kesha's tush treatment is a butt sheet mask formulated with citrus to brighten and rejuvenate. It helps reduce the appearance of blemishes and alleviate dullness, leaving your skin plump, hydrated, and radiant looking. Look, I want to go on the record and say I know a lot of pressure about their bodies on women come from men. But I promise this one's not coming from us. No man is saying, I think I got to break up with Sarah. I know she's crazy hot, but... Her butt skin is so dull, there's just no bright citrus to it. All I want is a girl whose ass has enough reflectivity to capture deep field photos of ancient galaxies. And the butt sheets aren't easy to apply. As Kesha explains, it helps having someone to put it on your butt. So that's another perk of being quarantined with my boyfriend. Well, that depends on who you ask. For instance, the boyfriend. Sorry guys, Monday's no good for our Call of Duty tournament. I gotta Glad wrap my lady's caboose. I'm being told it's a perk. Quarantine while. After being deemed non-essential and shut down during the lockdown, the Lucky Devil Lounge in Oregon has now converted to a drive through strip club. Finally, a way to combine the sadness of going to a strip club with the sadness of eating in your car. Quarantine while. As part of a new pilot program this week, a robot dog is patrolling Singapore parks to encourage social distancing amid the coronavirus pandemic. Robot dog enforcement. That must be so cool. I think, I think we have footage, don't we, Jim? Oops. Sorry, that was from an episode of Black Mirror. I'm sure the real robo dog looks and feels absolutely nothing like that robot whatsoever. And we're all gonna die.
At least this one's a jaunty yellow. I gotta say, people would be a lot more receptive if the dog was cuter, cuddlier, and less dystopian. That's why I've designed my own pilot program, the Benny Bot 9000. Come here, Benny. Benny, what are you doing? <laughs> he was licking the plate. You missed your cue. Licking the plate. Come here. Here's the Benny Bot. There it is. Benny is ready to be deployed in public parks where he will spread his message of safety, then eat your picnic, steal your shoes, and bite your thighs. You're welcome. Who's a public health ambassador? You are. Yes, you are. We'll be right back with Christine Baranski. You want to meet Christine Baranski? She's a national treasure. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is.